Uh, apparently it's a long weekend this weekend. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I should have clued in when uh, I rode the motorcycle by the border yesterday and the lineup was about two hours long. <clears throat> It's kind of crazy how much uh, how much people go down to the states on long weekends. I mean, I love going down myself. I don't know about waiting two hours in line to do that. That's a completely other uh, situation. Speaking of the states, six uh, six days, six days to go till the race. Looking forward to that struggle. It's uh, it's fifty k, and. Uh, Oddly enough, in the ultra-endurance world, it's a baby distance. Yeah, it's going to take me about, I hope, no longer than six and a half hours to uh, get it done. It's been five years since I've done anything like this, so we'll see where my fitness... Uh, is that? I know my mental gain is still there. So we shall see what we shall see. Bit of a boring one today because uh, I don't really have much going on. I'm on vacation. I took a week off before this so I didn't have to wake up at 2.15 every morning leading up to it so I can rest my brain. Hopefully that's a bit of an advantage. Other than that, yeah, just chilling out. My darling is still away. She's home tomorrow. She's home tomorrow. Oh, I should... Yeah, I'm pretty sure flights are uh, still on tomorrow. I'm sure. I'm sure they are. I'll double check. Double check. All right. What do we got here? Distracted. Okay, I know, I just went over a double, solid. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, if you're on a, a motorcycle, you don't have to drive like an asshole. You don't have to drive with entitlement. But what I do try is to... Uh, distance myself from bad drivers, other bad drivers. And if you ride one of these things, you kind of pick up a sixth sense, or you should, of uh, who's not really a good driver around you. It comes with experience. What else? What else? I, I, like I said, guys, it's not, not a lot going on right now. I'm playing that <laughs> PS5 game. Still. Black Myth Wukong. Look up. Look it up. It's kind of popular. I know. 
56 year old man playing video games with the actual F. But you know what? I don't. I don't mind. It's a good diversion, and it uh, it relaxes me, and it fills the time when I need to fill a bit of time. That's all. That's all there is. Yeah. No explanations needed. Uh, and uh, yeah, just a boring old rip. It's chilly out, man. They've uh, warned us in the news, us in the lower mainland, uh, temperatures are dropping this week. And it got down 8 degrees last night, overnight, and right now it's actually only 13. And she's blowing. The winds are blowing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna go down this way. Yeah, so I could be racing in cold weather, which is fine. It usually is. Like I said, I've uh, done this twice. And I've never had rain. Touch wood. Hopefully I don't. And it, it gets a little chilly. Uh, but that, that's nothing. That's nothing to deal with. The rain's actually nothing to deal with either. It's just a different it's just a different uh, thing to deal with. I remember once I was complaining about the uh, weather for an upcoming race. And uh, I think it was a triathlon years ago. And it was forecasted to rain, which is pretty shitty for a triathlon, truth be told. But he pointed out, look, man, the weather will be whatever the weather will be. End of story. And don't forget, everybody is racing in the same weather. So it's how well you can deal with it. That matters. So yeah. I always try and remember that if it's raining or if it's miserable weather, everybody's everybody's got the same weather on race day. True story. Anyway, that's the weather forecast. Oh, oh boy. You have so much room. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Fuck you. Sorry. You may be a new driver there, but your instructor should maybe instruct you a tiny bit better. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I was, uh, chatting back and forth with Sherry this morning I told her holy shit am I bored <laughs> which is a good problem to have 
this point in my life, I really don't have any obligations. Just super nice. I don't have any worries. I I don't have any real obligations, so it's it's nice. I get bored. And sometimes when I get bored, I get hammered <laughs> in my mind. But I've got no booze in the house. And uh, I don't plan on restocking until after my race. Just because, you know, maybe there's an advantage to that. I'm not sure. But yeah. Just lay off the booze for a week. Wouldn't hurt anybody anyways to do that at any given time. But yeah, when I'm bored, I like to have a few beers and chill out. Or, or hard liquors. Whatever. I'm not fussy, actually. Just like tea. There you go. Speaking of booze, Old Yale Brewery here. I was um, <clears throat> also talking to my very, very good friend, Josh, this morning. And I uh, pointed out, maybe painfully, <laughs> I doubt it, he sounded quite aware of the fact that we spend probably more than $100 a month at that place. That is a, that's a considerable amount of money. And, uh, yeah. I mean, good Lord, do you know what you can buy out of the liquor stores for a hundred dollars a month? A couple liters of hard liquor for sure. And, uh, I don't know, 78 beers or so. Not sure exactly, but a hell of a lot. So, yeah, and I guess what brought the whole subject up was I was watching a YouTube documentary on uh, on death of the pubs, death of the pub scene in the UK and Ireland. <clears throat> and there is an incredible amount of pubs closing because nobody's going anymore. It's not the neighborhood watering hole where you go and you have two pints and it costs you 10 bucks or 10 pounds or whatever. Like every time we go, we're looking at $30 for two bloody beer and a snack. And that happens in the UK quite a bit, and Australia. Anyways, I thought it was interesting because it's quite true. I remember we used to go to the pub in the 90s and you get a pitcher of beer for like $10. Now it's like $23 for a pitcher of beer. Can you believe that? Anyway. That's that. There's not much you can do. Well, there is. You can just stop going. You can stop going. Save your money. I'd rather drink at somebody's house anyways. I'd rather have people come over to the house and drink at home. Anyways, I think it's way nicer for visiting, and it's obviously <laughs> way cheaper. Good Lord. But yeah, I find it, you can visit nicer. Does that make sense? Have a higher quality of, of visiting. That's what I mean.
True or false? I don't know. What are you doing there? Kid? Yeah, true or false? I think it's true. It's more intimate. There's no, no distractions. Okay, everybody, let's get this through. Let's everybody get through safe and sound. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, so. I've always maintained an open door wherever I've lived and whoever I'm living with. That uh, our door is always open. And uh, it's not just a, a saying, a blah, blah, blah. It's very genuine. I don't, I don't care what's going on, what time it is, or day of the week. If you want to come and have some cheer and conversation, do it. Do it. Come on by. feel like my motorcycle's acting up. I don't think it is. Feels like it a little bit though. I think we're gonna loop through the university and call it a ride. Must be something going on. At the uni. I've been riding this whole time trying to figure out what is the long weekend right now. And I believe it's uh, Truth and Reconciliation Day weekend. I believe that's what it is. And I'll leave that one right there. Yeah, huh. All right. Yeah. That's all I got, peeps. That's all I got. Gonna call it a day. Maybe have a late lunch and, uh, play some Wukong. Black Myth. Wukong. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Kids learning how to drive, I believe. Oh, yep. Watch out for motorcycles, young Padawan. Once you're out there. Fellas in rough shape. I'm gonna go for it. All right. That was all I needed. Just to unravel the brain. Open house. Hey. Okay. It's quiet around here today. Huh. 
All right, that's it. We'll see you in the next one. When I feel like making another one. I think I'm going to try and film that race. We'll see. We'll see where my mental game's at.